common executive interview mistakes that could cost you the job. You have worked hard for years after college. You have paid your dues in mid-level roles and you have built your reputation within the professional world. Now is the time that executive level positions start to open themselves up to you. Whilst exciting it still comes with potential pitfalls. Long experience in the workplace doesn't make interviews any easier. While the style and basic format of an executive interview doesn't change drastically from the interviews you did years before, there are certainly unique challenges that come when interviewing for a higher level position. Let's talk about common mistakes candidates make, and how best to avoid them. Mistake number one, lack of research. When preparing for a high-level interview, you should always take the time to read up on those people who will be interviewing you. This is made easier today thanks to channels like LinkedIn, from which you can learn a lot about your interviewer's work history and achievements. It's already standard practice among candidates, though. So what else could you do to overcome a lack of knowledge? One thing you could do is see if you have any common connections with your potential new colleagues. If not, then perhaps you could identify customers of the company that would be willing to share their own experience. The information is all there, but it requires you to reach out and find it. This should furnish you with questions you might ask them during the interview, simultaneously demonstrating your genuine interest in the company and your intellectual curiosity. Mistake number two, fluff answers. Have you ever been asked a question that you weren't sure how to answer, so you just started talking and kept doing so until you felt it was enough? This is what we're referring to when we talk about candidates making the mistake of using fluff answers to interviewers' questions. On one level, it's understandable that in an executive interview, a nervous candidate would feel that any answer is better than nothing. But this is where they'd be wrong. It is far better to acknowledge you do not know the answer than to make it up. Mistake number three, no concrete examples. Another common error that executive candidates are prone to make is not being ready with clear, concrete examples of their work achievements to date. When asked about their successes in past roles, they often fall back on meaningless management jargon and cliches. Mistake number four, negative talk on the past. When you get together with friends on a weekend night for dinner or drinks, the topic of horrible bosses might well emerge. It's common enough, and a good chance to let off steam without ruffling any feathers at work. In an interview situation, however, bad-mouthing your previous employer is a big mistake, and unfortunately one made by a few too many aspiring executives. Mistake number five, overplaying humility. One final mistake that aspiring executives make is overplaying the humility card. Perhaps they do so because they don't want to come across as a know-it-all, but it can actually be self-defeating. Executives are company leaders, and those leaders need to project confidence and authority. Showing yourself as overly humble, perhaps lacking assertiveness, will play badly in an executive interview.